Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now, if you want to emulate all your favorite retro game systems quickly and easily, this guide is for you. Ask yourself, why go through the trouble of configuring a Raspberry Pi to play RetroPie, when the Fire Stick can do it instead, and for cheaper? So you may be asking, what is RetroArch? In short, RetroArch is an emulation platform that can be installed on many different devices and operating systems. This includes Windows, Linux, Android and Apple devices. So here I am playing the PC emulation of Doom. As you can see in here, it's 99% perfect. The sound and picture are perfect giving you retro perfection. Heck, some might say it's better than the original, and RetroArch gives you the ability to cheat with a live rewind. So if you die in the game, you can do a quick rewind in game just before that point and play on. Ok, so I also added Quake, another retro classic. Now as you can see in here, this plays equally as well as Doom with that familiar retro fuzziness. Now do remember you are playing this on an emulator on the Fire Stick 4K TV. I'm astounded by what the Fire TV can do. Now I couldn't leave out the classic Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2 Turbo in this instance. So sit back and watch me lose. Now can you believe it, I actually played this game on the actual arcade machines. And it's still as addictive and great fun as then. Ah, oh, I hate this bit. Take that! Ah, oh, no! Now I can tell you now, I haven't got any better since the original game came out. Now the next emulator I want to show you is the PSP PlayStation Portable. So this is Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's a great little intro here, I'll leave it running for a bit. As you can see, the Fire Stick is having no problem running this intro. Ok, let's just play a one player game and let's go through the setup. I'll let it play for 10 seconds to give you an idea of what it's like. As you can see it's a pretty authentic experience. Ok, so you're probably wondering how you go about setting up RetroArch on your Fire Stick TV. Well I'm going to show you how I did it. So to get RetroArch on your Fire Stick TV, you need an app called Aptoid. Now I have made a previous video on how to get Aptoid on your Fire Stick TV. Just follow the link in the description below. Once you have it, do a quick search for RetroArch and simply download. Now I've also downloaded an app called ES Explorer from Aptoid. It's a kind of a file explorer. I've used this to create a folder called ROMs under my RetroArch folder. This is where I'll place my ROMs. Once you launch RetroArch, the first thing you want to do is go to Online Updater and next Core Updater. And this is where you're going to choose your emulators which you're going to run on your RetroArch. So I chose Doom and I chose Quake, the Sony PlayStation Portable, now I also downloaded the MAME emulator, which I haven't shown here, which allowed me to play the Street Fighter 2 game. Next you need to navigate your way down to the Content Downloader folder. And it's here you can download your demo copies of Doom and Quake. Now for the other emulators, you'd have to transfer the ROMs from your PC into the folder you created earlier. Then it's just a simple case of going across the menu and you should see the game spring up. Pop into the game menu and then set the core association. And then go back up and run the game and it should load pretty quickly. Now it's pretty much the same process for the Quake game. You set the core association and then just run. Now just follow the same process for all the other emulators and you'll be on your way. Now if you want to further enhance your gaming experience, you can, like me, connect your PS or Xbox controller via Bluetooth to your Fire Stick TV. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.